Perseverance is a word I'd use for those who, who struggle with prayer. As, as bodily beings, if we're going to give all our time to God, if we're going to give everywhere we go to God, then we've got to begin by giving certain times to God, to go to certain places to encounter God. We go to the chapel, and we go once, twice, three, four times a day. And we go at times where we'll all be there together. And so it's a way for the rest of the day, remaining in prayer, wherever we are, and whatever time it is. The prayer that we do during the day all together are principally made out of the, the Psalms that come from the Bible. It's not just our personal prayer, but it's the prayer of all the church. And we stand there as representative of all the believers who are baptized, but maybe they don't know how to pray, or maybe they don't have it. Like everyone, we, we sometimes have struggle in prayer. Times when we experience prayer as being very dry times when we're distracted, times when something we're carrying is coming to our spirit, holding us from being present to God, to God who is present. So it's important to practice prayer regularly, going to the chapel and spending the hours that we do in prayer are quasi necessary to really have a life of prayer. Me, I was, I think, 15 or 16 years old, I was touched by this, this monks, this brother, who were able to, to do both, you know, to be really with the youth, to be with us, to play, to interact with us, and to be with the Lord, to be with God. There was no uh, ambiguity with this. They were totally with God and also totally with us. You see in the, in the Gospels how the disciples are drawn to Jesus who prays. We hope as Brother St. John, to be so plunged into prayer like Jesus that others too also will come close to Christ because they see that life, which is the life with Christ.